Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Uh, today we're going to try Play That Song by Train, uh, which is basically just heart and soul. It's an old uh, classic and uh, we put different words to it. So, Alright, uh, I'm going to show you, uh, I think, what the uh, guitarist is exactly doing, okay? Um, most people are doing the capo with the 3rd fret. I'm going to go to the 8th fret. Uh, I know that's pretty high, but I saw a live shot of him and this is what he seems to be doing. So, uh, capo 8th fret. Yes. And then what the guitarist is doing is this pattern for the whole song. Uh, I will show you how to, you can just play chords uh, in, in, in a, about a minute or so. Okay, but here's, here's exactly what the guitarist seems to be doing. So I think he's finger picking it. You can use a flat pick if you want. I'm going to do his finger style. Uh, that's how I'm going to accomplish it. And, um, but you can use a flat pick for it too. It's a little harder with the flat pick. So, uh, Alright. So, I got my capo at the 8th fret, and he does this figure over and over again. So what I'm doing is, um, I'm starting with open strings. My 4, 3, and 2. Just like that. 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2. And I'm using my thumb for the 4th string, my index for the 3rd, and my middle for the 2nd string like that. He's going pretty fast, but that's okay. Then you grab a C chord, and now you're going to switch your thumb. It's going to go to the fifth string, and then you're going to go thumb, index, middle. So that's the fifth string, the third string, and the second string on a C chord. And you're going to do that once. Then you're going to lift up your first finger, and you're going to do the same pattern. Five, three, two, what I'm yelling out is the strings, okay? So it's open, open, C chord, lift up the first finger, that's a C major 7, okay? And then the next move, you've already got your C chord down, you let, let everybody go. It's basically an E minor, but really all I need is that fourth string, that middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and I'm just going to go 4, 3, 2, 4, 3, 2, just like I did with the open, except now I'm holding down that fourth string, second fret. So from the beginning, it's like that. Okay, and then the last move is a D chord. Technically, it's a D5 because uh, you're not playing the first string. You get your D chord, and you're going to use uh, 4, 3, 2, okay? Just like that. And then you're only going to do that once. Then you lift up your ring finger, and that becomes like a, like a 6. So, you're going to go 4, 3, 2 on that also. So, just like that. Okay? So, your chord shapes, uh, you don't really need to form a G chord uh, because you're just using the open for the first one. But then a C shape is the 5th string, 3rd fret, 4th string, 2nd fret, 1st, 2nd uh, string, 1st fret. Okay? And then you lift up your 1st finger, that's a C major 7. And then you can leave your middle finger down on the fourth string, second fret. That's the E minor shape. Then you got the D5 or D, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's the third string, second fret, second string, third fret. And then you lift up your ring finger, so you got the open second string. You just have to be up on your tips so you can get the uh, the open strings to ring underneath. That's all. All right, and that's that's all he's doing. song uh, and you would end on just the open something like that uh, if you want uh, the four three and two open okay now if you want to uh, play chords you can do chords uh, you could do a G chord any G chord will do uh, fifth string th uh, no sorry sixth string third fret fifth string second fret and then the first string third fret and you could just do a down down up I'm just gonna use my thumb pick, whatever. Uh, it's really simple. It's just a G to a C to an E minor to a D, and that's it. That's what you could do for the whole song. So the C chord is the 5th string 3rd fret, the 4th string 2nd fret, the 2nd string 1st fret. Don't play the 6th string on that one. The E minor, I'm going to leave my middle finger right on that 4th string 2nd fret and add the 5th string 2nd fret. That time I can play the 6th string open. Then you're going to go to a D chord, which is the 3rd string 2nd fret, 1st string 2nd fret, 2nd string 3rd fret. 
I get rid of the sixth string with my thumb on that one. And that you could do that for the whole song. If you don't want to do the finger picking pattern, say you're singing it. Okay? And you can move the capo and do it in different keys, of course. Um, I think most people are showing you to do a capo third fret and you do C shapes um, for the whole song, which is which is also possible. Um, that way it would be it would be like right and then, and then a G chord. So a C to an F, A minor to a G. Da, 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 that's it. So you could do that and you'd end on a C chord there. Up here at the eighth fret, you'd end on the G. Okay? And that puts you in the key that they're in in the video. Okay, and that's really all you need for Play That Song. Uh, any questions, comments down below? Play more guitar, and uh, thanks. Thanks for watching.